Hello chickens, how are we today? So lovely to see you. I did miss you on Sunday. Of course it's Angela and I want to wish you a very warm welcome to my channel. We are going to be talking about what you need to gather today for your Christmas journal. So I hope you're excited about that. Now I've just had um, a week, busy week, packing all the Christmas bundles. And a lot of that is going to take a lot of the searching out of it for you. I do have some still available in my shop. Um, so if you're wanting any of those items, please pop over to my website shop um, and you'll see some of those things now today. Right. So what do you need? Well, the first thing you need are a couple of kits, whether you're using mine or you have others. That's fine. Um, I have still to do my own homework, which is cut out the tags and things that you're going to use. So this is my um, Spirit of Christmas add-on kit. And I need to go and back and cut out my tags, my journal cards, the little envelopes, and all of those lovely goodies that you saw me do. Uh, there's tabs. If you don't have, you can cut those out or use your tab punch pockets. All of that's in the um, add-on kit. And you need to get that ready. I usually cut this all out and put it into an A4 plastic box so that I can draw on it as I need it. I find that saves a lot of time. So I'll go and take some time and sit in front of the telly and do all of that. So go and prep all that stuff. That's step number one. All right, so I'm going to just put that at the top over there. Um, the same with the ephemera. So if you've got any Christmas ephemera or Christmas cards or anything that you want to use in your Christmas journal, um, this is my ephemera and sentiments kit. So you've got lots of gorgeous pages here full of different ephemera. Um, and I also have lovely sentiments that we're going to add to our pages. That's the smaller set. And there's some bigger ones here. But I also have the... The 1 to 31 um, circles that we're going to add to our pages as well. All right, so you've got that. There we go. So there is that. So those are the two bits of homework for cutting out that we need to do. Now, um, as far as journal pages are concerned, I've got 14 journal pages that I'm going to share with you what I've printed on the back of those. Um, but before I get to that, I just wanted to say um, I have a background kit, but if you've got Christmas background sheets of paper or other kits that you want to use, um, this is my 18-page uh, background kit. So you've got some collage pages here. You've seen this all before, and I have a full breakdown of each and every page on a previous video where I showed you these kits. So those are the collage pages. We've got beautiful other background pages all sorts going on in here all right if you're wanting this as a printed kit because you don't have a printer or a means to print your paper i do sell these as printed and as digitals all right so there is that offer this is what i'll be using for my projects to um, put into my journal pages along with some of the journal pages themselves all right and this also comes as a printed kit okay so this is a separate kit that's a separate kit and the ephemera and that's part are all separate all right if you're wanting a printed kit um you get the journal pages double-sided printed for you already <coughs> you get another set of plain sided pages like this to journal with you get a set of the many single-sided printed pages um and you yeah so that it comes to 20 pages that you get there you get the add-on kit so you get a set of those you get a set of the ephemera pages and the add-on pages in that kit all right um so that would be one printed kit another printed kit would be uh the background pages where you get two sets two pages of each so that's 36 and then the last is the altered book pages so the christmas edition which is based on the christmas carol um, I will be adding these book pages to my journal as well. All right, so everything that I, I have shown, shared with you as far as the spirit of Christmas is concerned will be going into our very special Christmas journal. And we're doing it nice and early this year so that you can um, be ready in time for Christmas. Okay, um, as I said, orders have gone out. So you they are on their way to you as they leave the post office today. All right, so... 
let me quickly show you very quickly uh, what I'm putting on these 14 pages. All right, so that's the first page. I will, I will mingle and uh, mix them all up when I put them into two separate signatures. I might do three signatures. I don't know. We'll see. Right, so we've got this one. On the back of that, I've printed this lovely bright gingham. All right, so that's the green. Then, oh, I haven't got them in order here. That doesn't help, does it? <laughs> okay, I think this is the second page. And on the back of that, we've got the red gingham. All right, so there's that. Then we have this page with the girl and the baubles. And on the back of that, I've got the stripes. Okay, then the lovely night sky with Father Christmas. We've got the green uh, font. Okay. And then this lovely one over the scene of the family, we have got the red font. Okay. Uh, sorry, it's all back to front. I thought I had sorted that. Then with this one with, in front of the fireplace, uh, we have got the wreaths. So that's that. And then we've got the pillar box and the door. And on the back, we've got the bells. All right, then on the little girl and the family, we've got the holly, yeah. Um, and then the gingerbread house and man, we've got the screen holly. All right, um, the little children at the fire and the window scene, we have got the collage page with all these goodies and I will say um, from the background pages I will take one of these and cut out all these little elements because I like to decorate with this that's why I always put in something like this all right so go and add that to your homework then on the bauble page I have got a writing page here with a with the holly and then uh, on the blue collage page with a blue pillar box um, that goes on to this writing page with the trees and the green collage page that goes on to this writing page and then the last one is this writing with a red edge that goes on to the one with the red edge here all right so those are going to form your 14 pages so I'm just going to put them in the right order here so that goes like that then you have this, this, that. There's four of these. There we go. There's the fourth one. And then you've got six of these. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so those are your 14 background pages. We, I'm sorry, your journal pages. We will divide these up into signatures. All right, probably two signatures so that I've got seven of each of these. And to that, I will add a couple of Christmas um, Carol altered book pages. Now, if you bought this from me as a printed kit, I've run this through, um, printed all eight. Then I've put it back into my printer and I've printed on the other side of these as well. I haven't on this case, but I will do so, um, so that they're double-sided printed and look like an actual book page. If you bought this from me as a printed kit, not a digital, obviously, you do that yourself, then I do that for you. All right, so you will have eight of these and then eight of the mini pages as well. But you don't need the minis for this. Well, you can put them in, it's no problem. All right, so that's what we're gonna do as far as pages and, and all the paper is concerned. Don't you think this is cute? Look at it. Oh, it's so soft. I've got this one and a little reindeer. <laughs> I can't help myself with things like this. I'm terrible. And when Paige comes shopping with me, we even worse. So we buy a family tradition. We buy a one new specially selected um, Christmas decoration each year. Only one. And it has to be special. We look at a lot and then we decide and then we just buy one to add to our collection. So we haven't done that yet this year. So I'm looking forward to that. Right. And just a couple of goodies um, here very quickly. 
Uh, this is from my Ultimate Bundle. Um, you, I'm going to be using three washi tapes. So go and look for Christmas washi tapes if you haven't got or aren't um, needing to find some. We will be using some of those. This is the Christmas Crinkle Ribbon. So um, that's not part of my Ultimate Bundle, but it is available. All of this is available. Um, this is part of my Ultimate Bundle that you get in their beautiful selection of poinsettias. Um, you want to get grab some fabrics, so fabric bits that we're going to decorate with. So those are those. Um, you want to go and grab a piece of fabric to cover your hardcover journal, which is what we're making. So this is mine. Comes in your fabric bundle with all of that. Yeah. We had a chat about the organza, so we're going to use this. Um, to you make some pockets that are see-through because you can see through it so i quite fancy that idea there um so that's our fabric and we'll just put that on that go and get some christmas buttons so all sorts here and you've seen me share these before you want to go get a selection of christmas buttons glittery ones green red gold white all those lovely festive colors so i'm going to grab some of that then this is some lace. This is the lace bundle. Um, lovely, beautiful laces, different ones that we're going to use. We've got this wider flat lace here, beautiful deep red. And um, we're going to use these in our um, journals for all sorts of things. And these thinner three here, we're going to also use for our tassel. We'll be making a tassel. Um, and then the ribbon, which is just below the lace. There we go. Look at that. 19 different variants we've got music we've got bits to line we've got decorative ones we've got all sorts and this one is our closure all right so that's all your ribbon lace fabrics and everything like that so lots of gorgeous goodies in there and then you would have received this from me in your ultimate kit go and gather some twine because you we make we're going to make something with that um it's always good to have you've got some lights here so christmas lights that we are going to have a look and use in a project and we've got some eyelash trim as well um red and gold or green if you've got it go and grab that also great for our tassel so and to use all right so there is all of that lovely goodness to gather as I say, I do have some of these bundles still available in my website shop, which is angelacurdesigns.com. All right. So that will save you on all of that hassle. And then I also have, looking at this here, what happened to my, oh, it's in the other bundle I'll get to it. But I've got some other awesome adornments that I will share with you in a moment. All right, I'm just going to put that to the side there. Go and shop your own stash as well, guys. A lot of that's going to come in my next <laughs> uh, chapter here. I found these uh, Tim Holtz Ideology Story Sticks. They're Christmas ones, and it says Joyful Jingle. You know, these look lovely in a journal as well as also on a um, a tassel as well as these bells if you've got bells so that's another one to have a look for so go and shop what you have i didn't buy that that was something i had and another thing and this is this is not from this year um but you saw me put these on my table before and i've put them here because i can't find where i've hidden my christmas charms so if you've got Christmas charms, go and bring them out. These are ones I bought from Amazon. They're different ones I use. And this particular project over here is one that I did with Rach for her Christmas um, collaboration. So this is in my last year's Christmas playlist if you're wanting to know about that. Uh, I really just put it here because of the, the, the little charms that were on here. All right, so there's that. Then I wanted to bring over another goodie for you. Now, I started making my die cuts. Now, I love using snowflakes at Christmas and in all sorts of colors. I've got gold ones. I've got green, white, silver, red, whatever. Whether it's plain card like that, and this is basil cardstock, um, or if it's glitter card like that. You know go and cut them out i'm going to show you the actual dies that i'm using 
and then you can have a look but before i get to that these are last year's papers that i had i didn't buy them again i've got a couple of glitter pages over here in those colors and i got this off amazon so you can go and have a look at my amazon favorites list there and the, like a goldy color so i like that for snowflakes so there's that. Um, then I had this was also from last year. Now this one is called, I'm looking. Uh, why can't I see it? Oh, I don't have my glasses on. So this is going to be quite something. This one is called Fireball. All right. Um, and this one is called... This one is called Green Briar. Let me grab the glasses. Then it'll be a lot quicker to tell you what it is. So Green Briar and Fireball. These are basil. They've got little polka dots on. Then I've got this one, which is Emerald City. And uh, this one that's a bit different. This is called Classic Red. And then there, and then I've got this one, which is um, basil green. All right, so that's what I've got, and I'm not buying any more. I'm using what I have, as I said to you. Go and see what you have, even if it's in your scrap pile, or even if you want to print some of the backgrounds onto your cardstock. That works too. All right, so that's the cardstock I'm going to use to make some more of these, and the dies that I'm actually using are these these are the three that i will use so i've got these also from last year this one is 661597 it's all on my amazon favorites um it is called holiday greens this one i've got the snowflakes 661599 and that one is called paper snowflakes and then this one 661206 and that is garden greens. All right, so those are the ones that I'm gonna be predominantly cutting out from these papers. And I like to do this one with the reds and a lot of them with the greens, and I do love these. I do, they're my faves. So perfect for the holidays, that's the die cuts. Okay, then um, the other adornments I was talking about when I showed you the poinsettias, and I have these in my shop as well are these beautiful um, small little poinsettias, the red ones. Um, I've got all these that are great, three different offerings for you there in different bundles. They're very reasonably priced. They are very well made, and I love this, the bells. Snowflakes, so if you don't have a die cut machine, here's the snowflakes, here's everything you need. Reindeers, um, holly, look how gorgeous that is. And I will be using these, the wreaths, We've got the snowmen, the little gifts, and then uh, the tartan poinsettia. So, you know, you don't have to have a die cut machine. This is going to be fabulous to use as well. All right, so let's put some of the stuff to the side over here. Okay. Something else that I have, and again, it's not new, and I don't know why I have this in two sizes, but this is called um, the Tim Holtz Stencils. This stencil is the Holly Borough Layering Stencil. Holly Bow, sorry, so THS015. And then I've got a smaller version of it for some reason. This is the THMST, this is the mini stencil, set 20. All right, I like this old Christmas font, the music and the sort of polka dots for sort of snow. All right, so that's there. And talking about that, um, I've used, I've got my stamps from last year, which I like to bring in here and there as well. And these are just faves. And again, not required to replace them. I'm going to use some of these and I used some of them last year. I'm going to need to give this one a wipe. So this one is called Tattered Christmas. This one is called Winterscape. Love that. 
and this one with the snow flags, which is gorgeous, mini swirly snow flags. All right, so I'm going to add in a couple of these here and there. All right, so talking about things that require ink, I'm going to show you what I have. Again, this is one that I had, which I love this crushed olive um, green, the brighter green just makes such a difference, I think. Here's a good example to show you how it sets off here. So I've got that, which is an old one. This I had last year, Rustic Wilderness. So that's really good. Okay. Festive Berries, I had this last year. But Dear Debbie influenced me. And I went and bought this one, which is slightly darker red, called Lumberjack Plaid. So it's slightly darker, um, which I quite like. So I'm going to give this a go, Lumberjack Plaid. And then I've got this one, which is Rusty Hinge, which is like an old rusty goldy color. And I quite fancy that. So I'm going to give it, these are my two new ones and everything else is not, is existing. So I stepped out and bought those two. All right. So that's the ink. That's the ink side of things. Oh, I forgot my little reindeers. How cute are they? <laughs> I do love the reindeers. And these are so sweet. Right, um, and then if you've got some stickles, and again, that's just stuff I have. I've got this here, Stardust, which is like a white glittery one. And then this one here, which is gold. You never know if we just need a little bit of that, don't we? So I have gathered that as well. Right, let me put these all in here. So I keep everything in these trays, as you know. Um, I find it much easier to, to work with things when I um, have them all in a specific place. So I don't know what works for you guys, but um, I will arrange this a lot better than I have arranged it at the moment. And then the good thing I like about this, they stack. So it's easy for me. So you see, I've got that as well. Um, so there we go. What else? What else? Is there anything else? Um... I think that's just about everything that you need. Um, but of course, I do encourage you to gather envelopes. We will be making an envelope project. If you've got the little bags, so the bags that um, either come with your goodies, like for example, um, that you get my goodies in, or any other paper bags that you might have, go and grab those because we will use them. Um, and that's about it, guys. Yeah, I think we're going to have a lot of fun. Um, I love making a Christmas journal. Uh, I find it really exciting. And I just like the opportunity to have a little bit of glitz because that's what it's all about, the magic, isn't it? So go and gather all those goodies. On Friday, we'll start and make a little project. Um, I'll show you the order of the papers in the signatures and we'll make something small while we're waiting for everybody to receive their parcels. Um, but yeah, don't forget the homework. I've got the same. Go and cut this out <laughs> and get it ready. Print out your kits um, and uh, we will make a go of it. So I hope you're excited as I am. All right, everyone, have a great evening and a great um, week ahead. I hope to see you Friday with another little project and it's going to be very exciting. Um, thank you for all you do and all you share. You make my day and make me smile all the time. And I really appreciate that. Okay, everyone, I'm going to love and leave you. Bye-bye.